Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and what we have here today is the all new 2024 VinFast VF3 having tied out formerly their smallest car back at the launch couple months ago with the VF5 now this is their new entry uh, level model of the lineup here in the Philippines but first I would like to thank everyone here uh, the folks of VinFast EDSA literally just beside what Robinson's Galleria or EDSA Southbound now of course with the size of this vehicle small car check Okay, it's a little bit longer than the competitors like that of the Jetour Ice Cream and the BAW Pony. And I'm smelling a compare right there. Hmm, hopefully soon uh, on my channel. I really cannot help on how this looks. It looks so rugged and yet so cute at the same time. There are very few cars that are able to do this. And one of the most unique traits with this VN Fast VF3 are the wheels. These are 175 series tires as well. They're 16 inch steel wheels, but I like the little detail they put a VN Fast logo steel and on the side profile you get a lot of cladding because this is kind of like a micro suv because the ground clearance is as well 195 millimeters halogen lights with repeaters on them the side mirrors here are really small literally the size of my hand now pairing this vinfast vft is an 18.6 kilowatt hour battery that produces 40 horsepower and 110 newton meters of torque so Right uh, near the sweet spot of the competitors, it has a little bit more power than usual. You can open this hood, however, you have to unscrew a lot of things here. And despite being a very small car, this has large windscreens throughout, even on the uh, windows on the door itself. And here at the side profile, again, it's such a cutely proportioned, uh, rugged, well, not rugged vehicle, but the design wise looks like an off-roader vehicle i like the rear too even though there's a lot of chrome which i am not a fan of however on this vft this one works and you get your halogen lights with repeaters once again and this is where uh, this vft falls behind just a bit only just being honest um the boot space is literally not the greatest out there so you have a total here of 36 liters you can literally uh, what fit just five sling bags only here at the end there's a further under storage if you need however though there's one advantage though if you fold the rear seats down it totals at 285 liters which is pretty decent because that means i can go inside here and lie down but horizontally uh yeah that's pretty much it here with the now for the charging of this vehicle so these are your ports and yes this vft is capable of fast charging so for an ac slow charger you can charge up to five hours and if you have the fast charge you can charge up to 36 minutes only remember that's like from zero to 80 percent only like with most uh, evs out there once you go past 80 percent it will slow down but one of the few cars at least in this segment excuse me <laughs> one of the few cars at least in this segment despite being a very small ev this has fast charger capabilities <laughs> this is a bit odd now here in the interior of this all new vinfast vf3 here in the door card and the door itself it's pretty long and i like you have cubby spaces and cup holders as well and they can fit little tumblers which i like and none of the competitors well most of the competitors rather are not able to do you get a cloth for your elbows which is nice and how to excuse me there you go and how to open this vehicle it's not your usual keyless where you have uh, you have the key present with you and then press the brake and it will automatically uh, turn on no but this one is uh, a little bit more conventional like with regular cars so you just put this in this slot here where it in just in front of the cup holders and then press the brake there the car is now on and yes i love the interior it's a very uh, minimalist design and one thing I discovered immediately when I first drove this when I got here. This is your gear stock. It's so very much similar like with that of a Mercedes and another uh, EV competitor which I just drove uh, yesterday. Wiper stock and uh, your turn indicators here on the left side and everything is controlled here with the screen so you can see your speed, the gears, the range and your odometer and all that and among an array of features.
And as you may know, this has a reverse camera, but it's not on for some reason with this vehicle. That's because you have to pay a little bit extra if you want this feature activated. But make no mistake, at least this is a very small car. I don't think you need it uh, anyways, but it still retains at least uh, reverse sensors, which I find pretty handy for what beginner drivers out there. And you can see everything else here. The two driving modes only, eco and normal. You can toggle it here once you scroll it down as well. And that's another shortcut again for the reverse camera instead of what shifting this to reverse itself. Now, as many people will ask, does this have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? Neither of them. However, uh, sometime in the future, this will be updated with this system. So uh, one of the few cars in this class that will have this uh, phone connectivity function. So good job with uh, VNFast for considering of uh, applying these uh, systems in the future. And then more stuff here on the dashboards, all plastic. Then you get a cabin space here along too with a nice VF3 badge. Further down below, you get your two air conditioning vents, your climate control functions. These are your window buttons as well. And for locking the vehicle, along too with your volume and tuning up. The speakers is so-so, but it's fine for this class of vehicle. And way further down, you get an array of cabin spaces along too with a USB-C port. Steering wheel, I love it. It's just a steering wheel. Blank, that's pretty much it. And unlike with that of the Jetour Ice Cream and BAW Pony S, the pedals are not offset. It is perfectly aligned with my legs. That's what I like because as you all know, one of my mid-picks with those vehicles, it's a bit offset to the right. This one is in a perfect position. And another thing I found as well, and behind both pedals, you can see the steering arm in action. So a little bit of a race car vibe with this uh, VF3. Then love box, that's pretty small, but at least there is. And the seats is pretty much similar like with that of its competitors. Uh, it's all cloth material but with a lot of colors. So you get a black, gray, and a tan uh, stripe here in the middle. I like that. For the eagle-eyed viewer out there, if you saw all of my exterior B-rolls earlier, this variant of the VFT is actually the Creator's Edition. So we're not sure if this uh, variant will come here into the Philippines yet, but it's a little bit tempting for me because I am a content creator myself. <laughs> and again, here in the middle, got two cup holders and the placement for key fob. Uh, above here, get halogen lights, visor. Uh, that's it, it's a visor. What? It's okay, that's that's actually too far, but for, of course, the forward position, it's all right. Now, getting into the rear seats, it's pretty much easy. So, you just pull these levers like a sports car or a coupe in general. And for once, I'm happy to sit here in the back and you can legitimately fit three people of my size here in the rear. So this is my normal driving position. Look at that. That's that's really good for a very small car. And unlike those vehicles as well, you get a large window over here and two cup holders on either side. How about that? And it even can fit uh, my tumbler except the one in the middle. But hey, at least there still is. And yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, it here in the rear seats same as well uh color scheme for the front seats as well now what i like too with this vinfast v50 well all cars in this size uh, the turning circle is really small so this has a total of four meters so you can literally do infinite u-turns in the same spot as long as you like and the performance of this if you may ask 0 to 50 kilometer per hour time is done in 5.3 seconds which is uh, not that bad at all. Of course, the 0 to 100 km per hour time is 19.3 seconds. However, I'm willing to try that uh, in the future if and only VinFast will give me a land out. But that 0 to 50 km per hour time is impressive. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's not the peppiest out there, but it's got a punch at least. With the, such a small car with great handling as well, you can literally do an auto ascension with the lampos. That's how small this car is. And look how quick the resting ratio is. Yes, it may be uh, too light for my liking. However, it's still pretty, what, nifty and quick. Look at that. Yeah, there's body roll here and there, but it's not as bad as you might think. And remember to like with that of the Jetour Ice Cream and BAW Pony S, the electric motor powers the rear wheels only so you can expect a lot of fun with this VinFast VFT and this could be 
I'm literally just going around the lamppost. That's how <laughs> tight the turning circle is. And literally, this car could probably be a good bet for me as well if you don't want the ice cream and the bead AW Pony S. There's one other reason to why you should get this. Aside to with the uh, ground clearance itself. And here now, once again, I'm in the service ramp. And the other being, you have a total range of 215 kilometers. Yeah, that's way better than the other two that I have mentioned. Of course, it won't get you to far places like in the province and all that. However, this is perfect for city driving already. Well, even just driving on sidewalks, but just kidding aside. Anyway, so with this steep ramp once again, right, let's go from a stop. The VFT has auto hold as well, if not mistaken. But I will just try it from D and just accelerate. Oh wow, that's that's not bad whatsoever. And of course another advantage of you will dive. And as well you can play around like this. <laughs> this thing's like a go-kart. I love him. He's so peppy. For all the right reasons. Whoa! Me. <laughs> right. So now for the cost of all of this, this one is competitively priced as well at seven hundred and forty-five thousand pesos. But I know there are on ongoing promos at the moment, so you just uh, may check in the description down below. So yeah, that's a quick dive of this all new Vinfast VF3. We could have a new small electric EV champion. So I'm willing to have a tie of this and hopefully soon, let's try Comparo between all three models, the Jeter Ice Cream and the BAW Pony. So once again, I would like to thank everyone here. Let me just, just turn around here. Yep. These folks here at VinFast EDSA. So for making this uh, test day review possible. And if you're curious with other VinFast models, you may contact the following people in the description down below. So, hope you guys like and subscribe, and I will see you <laughs> with more future VinFast reviews. Bye-bye.